Hey friends, it is Tanya with Thrifty Treasures, and today I'm bringing you a video about how I list my media. So, um, in particular about how I cross post my media, I double list it on eBay and Amazon. Not all the time for both platforms, but most of the time I do. And so I've received a lot of questions about that. So I wanted to share with you guys exactly how I do that. So I'm going to be listing um, three different media items. So I have an audiobook here I'm going to list. And then I have a cookbook I'm going to list. And I thought we would list a DVD. So um, let's get started. So the first one I'm going to do is the DVD, I meant the book. And it looks like there's a sticker right over the, okay. That says Glass Mermaids. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, so there is our ISBN number. We're going to be using that number whenever we go to Amazon and eBay and punch in our information. So let's do um, Amazon first. Now, I've already brought up my seller page at a product because, um, of course, I want to keep my private seller uh, central information. Uh, you know, that's, that's for my eyes only, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go down here. Now, right now, I'm making this video on my MacBook, but um, if I were on my desktop, I would be using my uh, scanner gun to scan the barcode. It uh, helps things go a lot faster. But I don't have that right now, so I'm just going to enter the number. So the number is 9786153488858. Okay. So then I'll hit the search button. Okay, and there's my product. So I'm going to scroll down. And um, what I like to do first before I click on sell yours is just kind of check out what the pricing looks like. So it looks like Amazon, they'll send you a gift card if you want to sell it to them for $7.33. Of course, I do not want to do that. It looks like used are going from $39.91. So the next thing I want to do is I go down here and I want to check out the sales rank. Because if this is a really super fast moving product, chances are I'm only going to list it on Amazon. Just because if it has a low sales rank, it's going to sell really fast and I don't want to take a chance on selling on uh, having the item sell on both platforms. And so it does it. It has a sales rank of about a million. And you can see that right here. So I'm going to go back up. And I keep a little post-it note with me so I can make note of everything. So I'm going to write down on Amazon. And the next thing I'm going to want to do is check out the condition of the one starting at $39.91. So that one says good. Uh, good, very good. Okay, and I think I'm going to list mine. Mine's in really pretty good shape. Um, I would almost be willing to say like new. It's in really good condition. There's no uh, writing on the inside, no salutations or anything like that, to, from, that type of stuff. So I'm probably going to list mine as like new. But I want to go ahead and make a fast sale, so I'm going to go ahead and match this guy's price right here, $39.91. So I'm going to hit the back button. see oh did that open a new window it did okay so I'm gonna go ahead and close that one and then I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna click on sell yours okay there's my book okay so I'm going to scroll down my price is gonna be 39 nine oopsie 91 my condition is going to be like new this is where you choose where you want to sell it. Do you want to sell it merchant fulfilled? That means you, you ship the book if it sells and keep the book at your house. Or do you want to send it to FBA? So for the purposes of this video, we are doing merchant fulfilled. Okay, put in your quantity. And um, if you want to add in some more information, you can. And so I'm going to click advanced view. And I like to come down here and type in the condition note. I like to say, like new condition. Uh, okay, I can't type and talk at the same time. 
<laughs> so I like to put, uh, for this one, like new condition, and then I always like to put super fast shipping with delivery confirmation. <clears throat> so that's just a little extra perk. I mean, I know if I'm ordering a book, I would like to know if it's coming with confirmation or not. Okay, then I'm going to scroll down here to my shipping options. And um, the ones that I use are um, expedited. That's like for priority mail. And then I will also ship international if it can fit in the padded flat rate. And I'm pretty sure this one can. So I'm going to come on down. And then I'm going to click on <clears throat> save and finish. Okay, so now my item is listed on Amazon. So now I'm going to go over here to eBay. And <clears throat> I'm going to type in the ISBN number over there. I should have copied and pasted it, but I wasn't thinking. Uh, I know, 348, oops, did I do one too many eights? 348858. Okay, um, now when I go to eBay, one of the things I like to do <clears throat> after I type in the number is I want to know if any have sold recently, and if they have, what did they sell for? Okay, and I'm not seeing any, so I know that can't be true. So I'm going to go back now, and I'm going to type in, um, let's see, Guido's, um, none of these say cookbook, I wonder why. That says guides. I better capitalize it so it won't autocorrect. Uh, let's see. It brought up two. So I'm going to come down here and then I'm going to go to sold. Okay, I am not seeing anything that I like here. So that was a bad idea. All right, so let me go back. <clears throat> and it looks like the ones that are available on eBay are going for pretty high. I am not looking to get that kind of money. Like I said, I want to flip it fast and uh, ask for something reasonable. So all these people are crazy, asking way too much money for their items. <clears throat> so um, let's see. I'm going to click on this one. And the first thing I'm going to want to know is if this is a stock photo or not. And I am not seeing anything that's telling me a stock photo. So just to save some time, I'm going to copy and paste this picture. If it will let me. Save image to downloads. Okay, <clears throat> so now... Let me see, let me make sure... <clears throat> okay, so this information is pre-filled, so I'm going to go ahead and click on <coughs> sell one like this, or sell now. Oh, come on. Okay, good. It does come with a stock photo. That's good. But I'd like to pick it up while I was over there just in case um, it didn't have it. So I'm going to change this up a little bit. Um, I noticed that in all the other ones I was searching for, <clears throat> it, none of them said cookbook. So I'm going to go ahead and add that as a good keyword right off the bat. And then I'm going to take all these caps out. Uh, let's see. Did I forget the D-G-A-I-D-O? Okay. Okay, this, let me just start over because... Oh, wait, I'll take that out. I like to clean it up. There's just too many unnecessary characters here. Caps and stuff. I don't like that. Um, so as an extra keyword, I'm just going to throw in the word book. Okay, Guido's Famous Seafood Restaurant. 
Okay. Hardcover cookbook. Okay, that sounds good. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. So I'm going to come down here. Store category, category is going to be books. Books. Like new condition. Now, see, this is something that's been bothering me. The stock photo from the eBay catalog won't appear in your listing because the condition of this item is not new. So what's going to happen whenever I submit this, they're probably going to say it has to have a picture. This is something new that eBay started doing. It's just, it drives me nuts. But I guess they want people to see the actual product that they're getting. Um, so here I will fill in uh, cooking, uh, general and reference, format, hardcover. Let's see what else. All this information here should already be pre-filled, so I'm not even going to put anything in there. If you wanted to add some extra stuff about shipping, you could, but usually I'm going to hurry, and, and I'm going to sell mine for $39.99. Okay, buy it now, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, I need to change this to medium L. All right, that price looks good. Um, all right, so let's click submit and see what happens. Yay, it worked. Okay, good. So let's go see what it looks like. Okay. Looks good, huh? Let's see if it filled in. Yeah, see, so it automatically fills in all that information. So I don't even bother... Uh, putting in a description most of the time when it comes to books because you know eBay automatically does it for you if they have uh, If that ISBN is in their database Okay, so the next thing I do after I list an item on eBay is I like to Hang on. Let me go over here What is this one? Okay, I'm gonna close this Okay, so I'm going to come over here and I am going to pin it. <clears throat> Any item that I sell on eBay, I always like to put it on Pinterest, pin it on Pinterest. Just kind of gives your item a little bit more exposure. Okay. That's done, and then it should automatically close it, and it did, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> trying to see where we're at in this video. How long has it been recording? Uh, I can't tell. So um, I'm just going to leave it at that. Three items is way too many to try and list. That took a little bit more time than I thought. Um, I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any questions, Please let me know um, if there's other videos that you want to see about books. I'd love to make them for you. Um, as a lot of you know, books are my favorite thing to sell. I love books and jewelry. So um, please leave me a comment down below and um, let me know what you guys are up to. And like the video, share it with your friends, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.